So you recently opened your new online store and you're starting to post your products on Instagram and Facebook. You're looking for new ways to increase sales, gain a following as you are beginning to learn about marketing. And you recently set yourself up as a business account on Instagram and Facebook. And you're starting to see the promote post on Instagram option and the boost post option on Facebook. And you're thinking, okay, well, why don't I test it out and spend a couple of dollars, maybe $10 a day, and hope to bring in a lot of sales and test it out and see if it works for you. So you set it up and you set yourself up to target women in a certain age range and maybe pick a couple of different targeting options and you sit back and you're like, okay, waiting for the sales to flood in, right? Only to be shocked that you've gained zero sales and hardly any new followers at all. What gives? Well, I'm here to share with you guys that you should never ever take this approach as part of your marketing options through your business and I'll explain why and tell you what to do instead. When you click on boost post or promote post, what you're doing is telling Instagram or Facebook to choose what your objective is and what you're trying to accomplish by the promotion. Now for beginners, this sounds great because it takes the guesswork out and does the work for you. Unfortunately though, Facebook and Instagram, they don't know what you're trying to accomplish or who you're trying to target. And they often choose a goal that doesn't actually bring in any results. So what you want to do instead is create a, a Facebook business ad account via Facebook and create all of your campaigns, all of your advertisements through the Facebook ads account manager. You have a lot more options available to you that will allow you to optimize your ads and target the right people. You can set up a Facebook pixel that will collect information about your page visitors and learn about your customers for you over time. You can't do this by promoting posts via Facebook or Instagram. So the too long don't read version of this is in order to increase sales, you need to target the right people and avoid spending money needlessly targeting people who are not likely to bring sales. So you can do this via setting up your advertisements via the Facebook ads account manager and setting up your advertisements through that page. Now you might be saying you do get to choose your audience when you are using the boost post promote post options. And yes, you have a couple of options. You have six options, which include the destination, where to send people, define your audience, budget and campaign duration. But you're missing out on important functionality. You have six options there. You don't have the full 11 options available to you via the Facebook business ads account. Additionally, you do not get to select who the target audience is. And this is key. When you boost your post, Facebook is going to pick your target audience for you and they are often wrong. When you use the Facebook business ads account version, you can choose the gender, age bracket, location, and essential detailed targeting, such as interests, demographics, behaviors, and more. With a boosted cost, there is also no chance to reduce the cost of your ad, no narrowing the interest targeting and optimizing your ad visual. What else? If you decide to edit your boosted posts, you have to delete it and start all over again. So ultimately, your goal is to create well-optimized advertisements through Facebook ads. And to analyze your results, what you want to do is check to see, has your website traffic increased? 
Have you gained new followers or likes, shares, comments since you launched the advertisement? And lastly, of course, have you received more sales or inquiries since you launched the advertisement campaigns? Now, if those three things have increased, if you have increased website traffic, um, social shares, Instagram engagement, and you've increased your sales, then you're obviously doing something right and you should continue to do that. But if you're not, then you're probably doing something wrong and you don't want to waste your time or money any longer by doing it the way that you've been doing it. You want to make sure you learn how to optimize your ads correctly. And there are so many great resources out there that can teach you exactly what to do. So I'm going to link to a couple down below that you should check out if you would like to learn further about how to optimize your ads. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's kind of confusing, so let me know if you guys have any questions. But with that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.